meet your digital classmates, human, student, and all of us. Planning for student success, your teachers design pathways through your science units, keeping these three digital students as models in mind. Hello, I'm Hugh Mann. I'm excited to be in class with you. I ask lots of questions that you might be able to help me with. I stick mostly to the basics to be sure I understand what I need to. I sometimes need my teachers to accommodate my work, so I get Google Forms designed to help me through my lessons. Hello, I'm all of us. Like most students, I do pretty well in my classes. I like to stick with the plan so I am confident that I will learn what I need to do. Distance learning keeps me busy, so I usually don't have time to do the extra activities. This leaves me enough time in the day to do some things I like to do. Hello, I'm Stu Dent. I love to be challenged. I learn quickly and work hard. My mind is always thinking up creative ways to apply what I learn to the world around me. My teachers say I really push them to go further. I enjoy it when my teachers give me extra activities to learn more than just the basics. Let's go see how it works. In each of your units in classroom, we keep in mind these three individuals and the traits they have to help us plan for a diverse experience. Uh, what you see on your end in classroom could depend on which of these three students you most represent. So for the majority of students, uh, they are like all of us. Uh, they will receive uh, lessons titled by the lesson number and title. So in this case, we have lesson 1.1 comparing rocky planets. I'm going to skip over the second post to the next lesson 1.2 with a title and lesson 1.3 with a title. Those activities are posted for the olives. Student, every time we post a unit, we will also provide materials. And these materials are not an assignment. They are extensions that students can electively do. It will not have an impact on their grade whatsoever. They will provide feedback when necessary. Uh, but it allows them to dig deeper and go further and make some real world connection. And Hugh Mann, Hugh Mann uh, will receive forms for each lesson as well. So on their screen, not only will they see the Olive 1.1, they will see a 1.1 form. And along with Olive 1.2, they will see a 1.2 form and a 1.3 and a 1.3 form, along with the extensions. Hughes are those students who require accommodations, okay? whether through 504s or IEPs or other arranged accommodations. The form will provide those accommodations for each lesson. And if you see a form on your screen, uh, it means you have documented accommodations and you may choose whether you go through the Amplify lesson as written or you take the accommodated version, but you do not and should not do both. You should pick. We don't want to limit you to just the accommodation. If you choose that you want to uh, go through the Amplify lesson as written, you are welcome to do that. But if the accommodation is necessary, there you have it and you can complete the accommodation. So that is how your teachers uh, plan for lessons. And uh, hopefully it helps you during this distance learning time, especially to be more successful. If you have any concerns or questions, uh, you think there's been a mistake or uh, you need to arrange some other um, avenue or pathway through, uh, we can do that. Um, go ahead and uh, reach out to us and we'd be glad to help.